Even more electronics design tips. Number one, within the domain of low frequency, low voltage, or simple programs, you don't need to worry much about optimizing your electronics projects. If you are designing your own custom network switch, then maybe you should learn about high speed traces and the problems you may run into. Number two, Buy your electronics in bulk from websites like Mouser or DigiKey. They will get you much better deals than buying those crappy kits off of Amazon. If you are just learning, then those kits are fine, but as you advance, they start to limit you. Number three, pushing yourself to try to design circuits that you already know exist can be very helpful for growing as an electronics engineer. Reading data sheets and learning from scratch are some crucial ways to grow. Number four, DuPont connectors are very inconsistent. Most connectors will have some issues and you'll run into them if you use them. So make sure you troubleshoot your connectors first when you're running into problems with your circuits. Number five, components in parallel can have drastically different current draws even if they are the same component. Number six, environmental conditions affect how semiconductors function. This is often seen as transistors gain will increase and decrease depending on temperature. This can affect circuits that are very reliant on specific tuning. And again, check your data sheets. Number seven, most electrical engineering is not needed for making microcontroller electronics. This is a blanket statement that won't be true for every case, but you don't need to know electromagnetism to understand how to design an Arduino development board.